a first grade friends. So we've got an assignment on this Monday and our assignment is about plurals. What does it mean for a word to be plural? Well, a word that's plural means more than one. Okay, it means lots, more than one. So what do we do when we make a word plural? When we make a word plural, we add an S. Yeah, that's the way we recognize it. But sometimes we can't just add an S. This is a new spelling rule. So I hope you were paying attention during class today because I'm gonna go through this with you because this is one of your assignments for today. In the Your Turn Practice book, you're gonna be doing page 98. And you can see I've got page 98 up here on the screen with us. So let's talk about making words plural in the activity that you're going to complete today. So most words, we're able to just add the S at the end of the word to make it plural, but there are some exceptions to our rule. And here's our spelling rule. Adding the ending ES to naming words. Naming words means nouns, words that are nouns, person, place, or thing, okay? At the end, so let's see, add the ending ES to the naming words at the end in words that end with two S's. That's the floss rule, we're gonna learn that one. A Z, an X, an SH, or a CH. For all of the words that end with these endings, two S's, a Z, an X, an SH, or a CH, we have to add the ending ES, not just an S. All right. Now, one of the reasons is we never have three letters the same in a row. So for example, we couldn't have two S's and then add another S to make it plural because we never have three of the same letter in a row. All right. And we have to add ES at the end of a Z, X, S, H, and a C, H, because otherwise it's too difficult for us to pronounce. If we have a word that ends with a Z, Z, we couldn't get that S on there, Z, it doesn't flow. So we have to add that E, so we pronounce the E. So for example, our word is dish is, dishes. We actually are pronouncing that E sound in there because we couldn't say dish, it doesn't flow. We're unable to get that, those three consonant sounds in a row. It doesn't work. So we have to add a vowel in order to get that S on. So let's take a look at it. It says add ES to make the word mean more than one, or what we say is plural. That's the vocabulary we want to say. Plural means more than one. So let's take a word, look at this first word. We haven't worked on EA quite yet, but EA is a long vowel sound and it's a vowel team, two letters that work together to make one sound. So this long sound is E, so our word is P -E -ch, peach. Now we wanted to say peaches and we see up here because it ends with a CH, we have to add an ES. So let's go ahead and write peaches. We've got P, E, A, P, A, E, S, peaches. There we go, peaches. We've kept the base word and added the ending E, S, meaning more than one. Let's look at our next word. We have the word box. Again, if a word ends with an X, we have to have an ending of ES. So let's go down here. We wanted to say boxes. So let's write our base word. B O X E S. There's our base word with our ending, boxes. All right, our next word. We cannot have three S's in a row, so we need to add an ES ending. Our word is dr -s, dress. We wanted to say dresses, dresses. Let's write our base word. Our base word is dress. Now we add our ending and our ending is ES. So we have the word dresses. All right, let's look at our next word, brush, brush. 
Remember, we have an SH. We cannot add just an S. So we're gonna add an ES. So we wanted to say brushes. Brushes. Let's write our base word, brush. E R U S H. There's that diagraph we've been working on. S H at our ending. E S. Brushes. Let's take a moment. Let's read all of the words that we just wrote. Peaches, boxes, dresses, brushes. All right, let's look down here at the bottom. Circle the word that means more than one. I want you to use the word plural, friends. The word plural means more than one. We are making all of these words plural. Remember, if you have a plural word, it has an S or an ES, so we don't want to get tricked. Let's look here. Glass. Glass. All right. We can't add an S to make it glasses, so we have to add an ES. Which one means more than one? Glasses. I see an ES here, so I'm going to circle E, the one with the ES. Let's look over here. We've got fox. F-O-X. Fox. Remember, if we're making these words plural with an X, we're adding an ES, so foxes. This is the word that means more than one. It's plural and it has an ES. All right, friends, I hope that you were able to successfully complete this and you've checked your work. Uh, keep learning and I'll see you all soon. Bye.